Why are mental models so fundamental to how you live your life and serve others? We create mental models of everything that we encounter, relationships, uh, the world, other people, you know, what we're going to do for our work. I mean, these, these are mental, the spirituality, I mean, what is, is there a God? So the, we're actually always creating mental models. I mean, we're mediating reality from our, our minds, our brains. Um, we start from birth creating a mental model. So the child is born and he goes, how do I get my food and how do I get cleaned and how do I yeah. get my... And they realize that if I make a noise, I can get what I need, right? I get attended to. So that's great, you know. Yeah. And then over time that gets more sophisticated. But that's a, such an intrinsic part of being human that we don't really think, that, think about the process of making mental models. Okay. We don't realize that we're in that process all the, all the time of amending a mental model or, or, or keeping it in prejudice. Take a prejudice. A prejudice is a... Is, is an unconsidered mental model, uh, one that hasn't really been, you know, more than likely it's, it's not based on true reality, it's might be based on one experience and then someone's drawn a conclusion from that. Well, that's, that's a really poor way to make a mental model. Um, you ought to really look deeper into a phenomenon and see whether you really are right about something. So for me, real, what I've realized is that that's really at the core. If I can get other people to think about their mental model, number one, about a particular thing, and more, more deeply about the process by which they're doing it, then, then I think we end up with a more interesting world and a, and, a, and a place where people are considering things. I think there's a lot of outsourcing that goes on, you know. Mm. I outsource my spirituality to the church. I outsource my um, political beliefs to the political party. You know, I outsource my whatever to my parents, society. So um, there's a lot of that that, that happens um, just from a course of living and, and growing up. And for me, what, what's, what's happened is I've taken existing mental models that I grew up with and broken them down and then re-erected uh, a new one. Sometimes it doesn't look very different to what you know, I started with, mm -hmm. but because I've gone through the process of breaking it down and then reconstructing it, that process has deepened my knowledge of it and also my conscious choosing of that model for myself.